Well, hello, 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 and welcome to the PJH Writing Command Center. And I am Paul John Hausleben of God Bless the Cake Publishing, LLC, where I serve as the flagship author, uh, chief cook, bottle washer, uh, photographer, and overall uh, do-everything type of guy. And I'm also the chief radio uh, op here at WA2ASQ, Whiskey Alpha 2, Alpha Sierra Quebec, amateur radio station and today welcome to another video where we focus on our QRP operations here at the PGH Writing Command Center which is an apartment in Central Virginia and if you've watched any of our other videos you know we improvise adapt and overcome and get on the air QRP here and do the best we can to have a little fun and today I would love to talk about the latest addition to the shack, which is right here, the QDX um, digital transceiver from QRP Labs. And uh, we just received this little puppy in, um, I guess, right after the 4th of July. And you have to be a patient sort of uh, person I, I opted for the assembled version rather than the kit because I've been backed up with a lot of projects here um, trying to get two novels out as well as a flash fiction collection in between my other <laughs> adventures. So um, while I am a very capable kit assembler, having been a radio TV tech, back in the olden days um, I can still melt solder with the best of them and I was ready to go with the kit but I decided ah you know your time's going to be limited so just order the assembled thing and have patience I honestly almost forgot about it until I got a shipping notice um, in July that uh, the, the assembled version was on the way QRP Labs I think it's QRPLabs.com a very reasonable price. I went for the, um, let me see, 80, 60 meter, 40 meter, 30 meter, 20 meter version. And if my time allows next year, I think I'll order the kit for the um, the other bands, the, you know, 15 and the uh, WARC bands and the and the 10 meter version. So here it is. It's it's tiny. Uh, you know, I'm going to put a little measuring stick on here, you know, and it's it's very, very small, about three inches there and about, um, my hand out of the way, two and a quarter or so. Um, I got the uh, BNC connector on the back here to a PL259. Um, I just have a random length of coax I had here in the shack. Eventually, I'll get a, a proper connector because at five watts, this is only five watts output. I want to minimize as many connectors and loss as I can. Little 12 volt random power supply. Um, you want something that a little beefier, you know, maybe an amp, two amp. I've, I've I had this in the junk box for years and it worked out quite well. So had no, uh, that's my little Zach Tech whisper. Um, that's a different video. <laughs> I don't want to digress. So we've got this guy on the air for about two weeks, maybe three weeks. Haven't had a lot of time to play with it. And um, if you watch our other videos, you know we're kind of locked in here. I've got the old uh, faithful MFJ ancient um, manual tuner. Got one of these new little ATU 100s going here. Haven't uh, I got to shake that out a little bit more. So far it's been kind of fun. But the old guy works fine. And we adapted our rain gutter antenna a little bit here as of late. We have a dipole up in the upper reaches of the bedrooms here on the second floor. We're like an up and down townhouse. And I live by myself, so unless it's late on a Friday night when I might get into some, um, how shall we say, spurious liquids, I could stumble on some of the wires all around here, but... <laughs> Being a ham radio operator, wires go along with it. So we have a dipole strung in the second floor bedroom, which we use for the beacon on the whisper. And um, that's uh, 20 through 6 meters. 
I've got it cut and it tunes. But most of the time we use a rain downspout, and you can look at the other videos, it goes out the window here. But I recently changed the tuner on it. Here's the wire that simply goes to a self-tapping screw in the downspout, which leads to the gutter, which is all metal, and it's got self-tapping screws to the gutter, which goes about 60 to 80 feet down the front of the apartment complex. And I came down and I made this little, um, I did get to melt solder. I made this little uh, 49 to 1 matching network right here. And I built it and put it in a regular PVC electrical handy box. And then I have a little um, banana plug in a binding uh, little jack here that I drilled through and drilled through my connector on the side. So it works out quite well and I get a very good match all the way to 80 meters. I just have a random length of coax. I, I need to shorten that up. But right now it works good. So how does it work, Paulie? Well, this little guy is amazing. And I'm gonna shift over to the software. Those guys that, uh, you know, you get on the air here with the FT8, you're familiar with all this. And you can see we're, um, you know, we're receiving stations. We're on uh, 20 meters right now. And, um, you know, stations are coming in, band conditions, a little spotty today, but uh, it'll get better as the, the night goes on and uh, no problems whatsoever so far it's been bulletproof puts out about 5.2 watts on the on the uh, digital meter here uh, 5 watts 4.8 on some of the other bands and look at down the logbook like I said I still use a manual logbook <laughs> the uh, the software here logs the uh, WS JTX uh, has a, a, a log and, and I use that too, but we've got all over the US uh, Here's a V2 up in Quebec. We've got a Victor 31 Delta Lima in Belize We've got some Midwest. We got some West Coast with a W6 We got the Madeira Islands with a Charlie Tango 3 uh, So um, that's just in random operation here with our downspout and 10 and I think there's some more contacts on this side. Let me see what else we got here. Uh, yeah, another V2 and, and some Midwest. Uh, we put it on the air on the 6th of July. So, so far it's been bulletproof, very easy to hook up. And your experience might be different than mine. I use Windows 10 and the instructions from QRP Lab says it's plug and play, like plugging in a flash drive. The drivers are already in the Windows 10. I had a little problem with that. It would not recognize the device right away. So I did an update. I have an old desktop here uh, and it's Windows 10, but it's an older Windows 10. So I did the update to Windows 10 and it recognized it right after that. Now, of course, yours could be entirely different from the experience I have, but I did find the best way to get this to consistently always come up and connect is to boot up the software, bring up your um, WSJTX first. You'll get the rig configuration prompt. Don't worry about that. Then plug the USB. This is my case. This is how it works for me. I plug the USB into the COM port and then I power up the QDX and it recognizes it bang right away. Um, and I'll let let me go to um, let me go to the configurations here, and uh, I will show you um, settings here. De -de 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 settings. You want to make sure these are my settings that work for me, right here. And then on your audio tab, make sure your sound card is set to the QDX. And um, this is saying COM18, uh, 9600 baud, and you can see the rest of the settings. And that works every time, as long as I do it in that sequence. Your laptop, your desktop, your situation might be different, but for me, that's how it worked. There we go, QDX, we're on the air. I, uh, I don't like to do digital modes with my main radio. Uh, we brought the IC7200 um, out of the mothballs. I switched between this and a, 
a Yaesu 891 and a little 10 tech. This is set for five watts. We only ever want work QRP here. And um, it's, it's a lot of duty cycle when you're on the digital and this is getting to be an older rig. So I try to preserve it. I'm a CW guy only. So I do like to play on the digital and the little QDX for the price. My goodness, I forget how much I paid for it. Hundreds some dollars assembled. You can't beat it. Highly recommended. So there we go. Here we are on digital from WA2ASQ. Small little tiny station tucked in the corner of an apartment making do with, um, you know, what we can with a rain gutter antenna, indoor dipole. Um, on the Whisper, we've, we've, we've pegged New Zealand. We've pegged Australia, Japan on the Whisper signals with the indoor dipole so you can get on the air with a minimum station and have fun so hey thanks for tuning in and we will see you next time 73 from whiskey alpha 2 alpha sierra quebec bye bye now